<laughs> Tonight's reality check goes out to the members of the House Intelligence Committee. You may recall that a mere month ago, not that long ago, Democrats were outraged when Intelligence Chairman Devin Nunez was allowed to privately review documents that indicated National Security Advisor at the time, Susan Rice, had deliberately unmasked the names of Donald Trump's associates who were spied upon. They tried to hound Nunez from office and complained they were being kept in the dark. Well, according to a new report by the Daily Caller News Foundation, now that those documents have been made available, apparently Democrats are no longer interested in reading them. There are nine Democrats on the House Intelligence Committee, but only two of them, Adam Schiff and Jim Hines, have bothered to look at the documents. Now, you'd think with their privileged position on that important committee, they'd want to see all relevant information that relates to their claim President Trump and his advisors are pawns of Vladimir Putin. But they don't. And the reason is obvious. They never really thought Trump colluded with Russia in the first place. They're using that claim as a political tool. Even baseless accusations of treason, though, are fair game in the modern political climate. Their intentional ignorance is worrying for yet another reason, though. It shows how little the Congress cares about the federal government spying on its own citizens, probably illegally. Today, it really can be boiled down this way. If my party does it, then it must be completely okay. And that's not true.